We are back doing spider-related videos all this month for Webruary, and we have a question from Twitter, uh, from at JuicyDemonte, who asks, How can Spider-Man crawl on walls if he has gloves and shoes on? Fantastic question. Uh, the short answer is that he can't, uh, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. So let's back up a little bit. Spider-Man has a ton of powers, right? Spider sense, proportional strength of a spider, all that goodness. But it was actually sticking to walls that inspired the character. Stan Lee explained, quote, I told this story so often, it might even be true. I can't remember. But I was saying, I saw a fly crawling on the wall. And I said, wow, suppose a person had the power to stick to a wall like an insect. So I was off and running. And I thought, what will I call him? I tried Mosquito Man. That didn't have any glamour. Insect Man. That was even worse. I went down the line and I got to Spider-Man. It sounded mysterious and dramatic. And lo, a legend was born. End quote. And this power of sticking to walls was important to the character's overall design. Once Stan Lee got the approval to go ahead with the character from Martin Goodman, he took the idea to Jack Kirby to flesh out the character a little bit more and draw up some pages. But Stan Lee hated Kirby's designs. He said it was too heroic. So he instead gave the job to Steve Ditko, who was only supposed to be the inker. And Ditko would be the one who came up with Spidey's iconic costume. He explained his inspiration, quote, One of the first things I did was work up a costume, a vital visual part of the character. I had to know how he looked before I did any breakdowns. For example, a clinging power, so he wouldn't have any hard shoes or boots, end quote. This is why Spider-Man's costume is typically portrayed as a very thin fabric from head to toe as opposed to armor, like a lot of other superheroes. His clinging power simply wouldn't work if there was too much between him and the surface he was trying to stick to. In fact, in Amazing Spider-Man number one, it clearly states that his shoes are so lightweight they can even be folded to fit into his back pocket. This is different than some of the movies, which show his shoes having these sneaker-like soles to them. Going a little bit further, Amazing Spider-Man number 90 shows that when he's just in his civilian clothing, he has to take off his normal shoes in order to use his spider cling powers. The shoes are simply too thick, but the costume is thin enough to Work. Now, obviously, a lot of these examples are from the past, so newer comics might show some inconsistencies, but this is how Spider-Man was intended to be. I hope that answers your question. Let me know in the comments if you have any other comic book questions you'd like me to answer. And if you want to learn more about how Spider-Man can stick to walls, we actually covered the science behind it last year, so definitely check that out. A huge thank you to our patrons who support these videos. Their names are in the description down below. If you want your name there, go to patreon.com slash nerdsync. My name is Scott, reminding you to read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. See ya.